Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, November 13, 2010. This week, how to make your own printables with brushes and digital elements. This year's Holiday Prep Series begins with a tip for using brushes and elements in a different way to make printable sheets. Whether you're crafting your own holiday cards, hybrid scrapbook pages, or holiday crafts, you can use brushes and digital elements to create sheets of printed embellishments. Begin by opening the Photoshop or Elements Editor. Make a new 8.5 by 11 inch document by selecting File, New, Blank File. Type in your dimensions, 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Use RGB as the color mode and make the background contents white, then click OK. Load the brush of your choice into your software. You can find instructions on how to do this in our Getting Started Guide, or in the Tips section of our site, or you can watch the video instructions on our blog. Click the foreground color chip to choose your color of ink. I'll choose green to make a Christmas tree, and then click OK. Next, make a new transparent layer above your background layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon in your Layers panel. Get the Brush tool and choose your brush from the drop-down menu here in the Options bar. Then click once on your background paper to stamp the image. Make another new layer. Choose your ink color. I'll choose red this time. And click OK and select another brush. This time I'll choose Jolly from Katie's Graphic Block Words number 2. You can set the brush size here in the options bar by moving the slider or you can use the square bracket keys to make your brush larger or smaller. When you're happy with the size, click once to apply the brush stamp. Continue creating new layers and stamping brushes in the color of your choice. To add embellishments to your printable, use the Move tool to drag elements over to your document. Let's open up an embellishment. File Open. I'll double click it and it'll open here in the editing window. Now I'm in Window, Images, Float All in Windows so that I can see both of these at the same time and then using the Move tool, which is the first tool here, just drag this card over onto your page. And then you can close this window. Fill up your page, but be sure to leave a blank border around the edge of the paper so that your designs don't get cut off when you print them. Finally, select File, Save As, and give your project a name here. Choose JPEG for the format and click Save. This will flatten your project into one printable layer. You can print from your print wizard or you can go to File Print and use the Adobe Print Wizard here. You can choose your printer from the drop down menu and then make other choices before you click Print. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements holiday video tip.